Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, two weeks ago, before IBC clearing candidate to run for specific seats, Musalia Mudabadi had made some noise in Vihiga County, and they were specifically focusing on Sabatia constituency, where William Samai Ruto had planted a candidate to run for Sabatia member of parliament. And uh, Mudabad was clear that N's party has no candidate in Sugoi running for member of parliament. And for that reason, UDA party should not plant candidates in his backyard, Hapa Sabatia. So I thought UDA and William Ruto, they are going to reconsider that statement and maybe withdraw their candidate from Sabatia parliamentary seat. But that did not happen. William Ruto allowed his candidate and he was cleared by IBC to run for Sabatia member of parliament. <laughs> so as we are speaking now, Ruto has a candidate in Sabatia by the name Clement Sloyer. He has been cleared by the IBC. Clement Sloyer is a brother to McLean's Sloyer. And remember McLean's Sloyer, he died, but this was the and the candidate for Sabatia. That was the person Musalem David was putting his hands on. And he was going to win that seat. So when he died, the brother came in. And uh, he's running on the sympathy of his brother. So Ruto has a candidate in Sabatia. <laughs> and yesterday at night, Mdavid again has repeated the same. This time around he was with the Senator Wetangula, in campaign for Vihiga County, even Bonne Kalwala was there. So they were campaigning and he was somewhere in Sabatia. He has repeated the same statement, but again, he spoke in Maragoli, that's Luya. So the same way he did in the first time, he has repeated it again. I wanted to listen to him shortly. It is in, in Maragoli, but I'm going to do a translation. And after that, I want to explain to you how William Samai Ruto has successfully planned two candidates in Vihiga, a governor and a member of parliament, of which seemingly, if they succeed, that's how William Samai Ruto is going to finish Musala Mudabadi in Vihiga County. Listen to this shortly. Now, this is what Musala Mudabadi is saying, if I loosely translate that into Swahili. Nataka ni waulize, vile tuko kwa hii muungano, Si tumeshikana na Ruto hapo juu. Lakini watu wa Sugoi wanaenda kuchagua mbunge wa ANC tuambiane tu kweli. Watachagua ANC au UDA. Kando na kuungana na Ruto kwa mlima hapa juu. MP wa Ruto anaenda kuwa UDA. MC wake wa nyumbani anaenda kuwa UDA. Sasa kwa nini na nyinyi Hapa mnyumbani mnyime mjumbe wangu wa ANC. That is what Musala Mdavadi has said in that clip. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you are not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, after IBS clearance, there is something Salam Dabad is coming to realize, and it is too late for him. That despite being in a coalition with William Samoy Ruto, it is emerging that Ruto has a clear master plan on how to deal a blow with Musalem Dabadi after this August general election, so that Musalem Dabadi will be left without people around him. And in that way, William Ruto might not need to have Musalem Dabadi to reach to the people of Vihiga, Kakamega, Busia, and all those other areas within the Western region. So the only reason why Ruto is in this coalition with Musalem Dabadi is just to use Mdabad as a ladder to plant his candidates in the western region 
And after that election, Ruto will be commanding and giving direction to those members of parliament, governors, MCS and MPs, elected on UDA ticket on what they need to do. Mdaba is learning when it is too late. I talked about uh, the Sabati member of parliament. Remember, Mdaba has been a member of parliament representing the people of Sabati. So that is his home ground. And for Mudaba to remain relevant in Kenyan politics, the truth of the matter is that his member of parliament from home should be from his, the same political party where he belongs. Without that, he's going to lose his dignity in Kenyan politics. <laughs> That's why Ruto is planting a candidate there. And if Sloya is going to emerge a winner in this election, I'm telling you, Ruto will have no time for Msalia Mdavad. He will have replaced Msalia Mdavad. They had a chance to recall their candidate just to bring peace in Fihiga and Sabatia. Because it's just bad manners and greediness for Ruto just to plant a candidate, even an MCA candidate where Mudavad is coming from. <laughs> I don't remember if a ODM party planted a candidate in Vihiga in Sabatia in 2017. Even if they had a candidate, they, you know, Raila never campaigned for that person. But again, I don't remember if there was. But Ruto is doing that. Na mudawida alikuwa nakimbia kutoka kwa Raila, anakuja kwa Ruto. That was a gamble. Again, it is imagining that William Ruto has a gubernatorial candidate in Sabatia, in Vihiga County, as we are speaking now. Ruto has a candidate that candidate is not an ODM candidate. Utichu is there for Raila Odinga. But it's imagining that the former and the first governor for Vihiga County, Honorable Moses Akalanga, is William Samuel Ruto's candidate in Vihiga County. So beside planting a member of parliament candidate, Ruto has planted a governor candidate in Vihiga. That is the biggest reason Mudavad is making this huge noise. Because he know his house is on fire. Akaranga has a chance. How is Puzili Akaranga in Vihiga politics? Because remember in 2013, Mudavad was not supporting Akaranga. But Akaranga came with the, his party his own party, and he won the governor's seat. So Akaranga has a, a fighting chance in Vihiga. Now, how is Ruto involving in Akaranga politics within Vihiga count? Now, this is the issue here. There was a time when William Samuel Ruto met with the former governor, Moses Akaranga, at his current residence. Akaranga had gone there with the Vihiga team. They had a cup of tea. And Ruto shared those photos. This is what Ruto said. And again, after Ruto sharing that, Akaranga also shared the same on his Facebook page. This is what Ruto said when he met with this team. Football is more than a game. It is a socio-economic force that can change the life of young people, especially if they, if we build from the bottom going up. Had a cup of tea with Vihiga Bullet Football Club in the company of former Vihiga Governor Moses Akaranga. This was May 13th. Just some few weeks for you, 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 before IBC started clearing the candidates. Why was Ruto meeting with Akaranga when it is clear, crystal clear that Akaranga is not in Kenya Kwanza coalition? He knew Akaranga has a fight with the Muslim Dabadi 
in a big account. So what Mena could have thought is that maybe Ruto is trying to bring intervention between Akaranga and uh, Musalem Dabadi to get a candidate for Vihiga on ANC ticket or in Kenya Kwanza, as far as concerned. Because Mudavadi has Alfred Agoy as his candidate in Vihiga running for the governor. Akaranga is not seeing eye to eye with Muslim Mudavadi. But why did he embrace Akaranga? The truth of the matter is that William Samai Ruto is here funding Moses Akaranga in Vihiga. He has identified Akaranga as a person who has a chance in Vihiga County. Because he has proved he can. And therefore, William Ruto has gone for Akaranga. In case Akaranga is going to win Vihiga governor seat, you will see him working closely with William Samway Ruto. And 2027-2032, that is going to be William Ruto's point man in Vihiga County. So just imagine if Sloya is going to win, Akaranga is going to win, will William Ruto need Mr. Mdavadi to get to the people of Vihiga County? Mdavadi is going to be so much ashamed. These are the reasons why Mdavadi is making this noise. That is why now Mdabadi has decided to, to, to come out and take William Samuel Ruto head on in Vihiga County. So there is absolute division within Kenya Kwanza in Vihiga County because of the competing interest between William Ruto's interest in Vihiga politics and Mselem Mdabadi's interest at his home ground politics. Sasa Ruto anafanya na kazi na msali ya mdavadi, lakini ako na mpango mzima wakumumaliza msali ya mdavadi. Mdavadi amegundua lakini it is too late. Because these people are candidates. Sloya is being funded heavily by William Samuel Ruto to win that seat. If there is someone Ruto is funding with the huge amount of resources, then Sloya is among those people. Governor Karanga with his people's PP, PPK party, <laughs> progressive part of Kenya, he is being funded by William Samway Ruto. Remember he has been, for, he has been in called for about five years when a teacher defeated him. So he's trying to make a comeback. The person who is funding him, William some way root. Sasa, mbwe ili aza kutunyeshea wapi watu wa ANC. That's why for me, I still believe that Raila Mono Dinga was still the right person for Musala Madaba to work with. In as much, yes, they, were, they had some misunderstanding. But still, it was good for Madaba to at least embrace Raila Odinga for one more time. Because Raila might have not planted people in Vihiga because after 2022 he will not need maybe another chance or if he need then he will not go into Vihiga to fight Mdavadi. Again Mdavadi was not going to lose his members of parliament in Kakamega Akina Nabulindo How eh? what when you they could have not gone. So he made a wrong decision and it is eating him. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.